Freshman Republican Senator Marco Rubio stayed true to the conservative message in his response to President Obama's State of the Union Tuesday night. Then, this happened. Nothing has frustrated me more than false choices like the one the President laid out tonight. The choice isn't just between big government. The puns flowed like water. Rubio's Watergate, Water Bottlegate, CNN's Chris Cuomo even did an impromptu impersonation as he explained how the drink heard around the world would be perceived by the public. See, see what I'm saying? That's all you'll talk about. The puns on Twitter were relentless. Then there's the GIF. National Journal had this one. Plenty of others couldn't resist the Internet's favorite throwback of the moment either, because showing the actual three-second clip isn't cool enough. Slate's Josh Voorhees said the Internet didn't hear a single one of Rubio's 2,600 words because it was too busy gififying the clip. Rubio had some fun with it afterward, tweeting this pic in response to the response to his response. Jokes aside, and looking at the next day media coverage, it's going to take some heavy equipment to push them all aside. The Daily Beast's Michelle Cottle suggests Rubio did what the GOP sent him to do. Post water break, Rubio managed to get into a groove and ease on in for a smooth jazz finish. He put a kind, non-scary, and non-white face on a party dealing with a nasty image problem. In an opinion piece for Fox News, Dan Gaynor writes that Rubio's response will catapult him into an even more serious contention for a presidential nomination, despite the focus of many post-speech reports. Watching media reaction, you would think he was emulating Socrates and drinking his own political hemlock. That result was preordained. Rubio could have announced the cure for cancer that he personally had developed, and MSNBC would still have attacked him. Rubio's response was the official one for the GOP. Kentucky's Senator Rand Paul offered the Tea Party's response to Mr. Obama's State of the Union. For Newsy, I'm Nathan Byrne.